but Hi. Welcome to our channel. Hey everybody welcome back today I just wanted to bring you a quick video and it's just going to be simply a EDC update uh, if you're not familiar with what that is EDC stands for everyday carry and these are just some really simple items that I keep on me all the time um, I'm not doctoring this up just for the purposes of the video if you knew me personally or you ever run into me in real life feel free to stop me and I'll show you that I do carry these items on me every single day uh, all the stuff that I carry in my mind is really practical and it's just very basic for the most part. It's items that I, sounds like my neighbors are having a good time. It's items that I just like to keep on me um, all the time. I also do carry a EDC bag that is definitely a little bit more in-depth. I have a video on that that I will link in the description. And uh, I don't carry that per se on me all the time, but I do try to keep it always extremely close by, uh, at minimum, at least in my vehicle. Uh, before we get into the video, I just want to do a little quick turnaround. Uh, everything that I'm about to show you, I'm carrying right now. So I'm going to move the camera a little bit and get on the tabletop right here and show you what I carry. All right, so I'm going to start with the obvious stuff and then work my way from there. So there is my wallet. Very simple, straightforward. This is the style of wallet that I've always carried, and it's what I prefer. This one's got some wear on it, as you can see. I honestly don't see myself replacing it until I have to. Uh, I don't really geek out on wallets too much. It's just not really my thing. But this is the kind of wallet that I like, and it does the job. Next thing I carry is going to be my keys. Um, I have to carry a lot of keys due to where I work at. Um, I carry on just one of these little clips like this. I have no idea where I got this one at, but I just use it and clip it right here on my belt loop. On my key ring, I have this little multi-tool. I think I paid like three bucks for this thing on eBay. It's got a little pry bar slash flathead. Got a little wrench, package opener, and a bottle opener. It was really cheap. It's really simple. It weighs basically nothing, and I do use it from time to time. Next thing I have is my saw key knife. I use this thing for opening packages and things like that. You could use it for a letter opener. Once again, it weighs basically nothing, and it just kind of disappears on your keys. I really like these little saw key knives. Uh, the next thing I carry in my front right pocket here is my Streamlight ProTac 1L 1AAA. So this is a Streamlight light. It has a pocket clip, which I do use and clip it inside my pocket. I really like the way this clip is made because it has a reverse clip and you can clip it on the bill of your hat. Um, I literally use this light every single day and I've never had a single problem with it. Uh, this one is also a dual fuel, so it can run off of a uh, CR123A battery, or it can also run off of a AA battery. Um, with a AA, you're going to get a little bit less output, but in a pinch, it would work. The next thing I carry is my knife. My knife changes out from time to time, uh, but this is kind of my main EDC knife that I'm using right now. This is a Lightning OTF, which you're not familiar with that. That means out the front, this is an automatic knife. Uh, some states, this style of knife, you know, won't be allowed. Uh, I think we can all agree that's pretty dumb. But regardless, if you're interested in this type of knife, you'll have to check your local laws. Uh, OTFs by Lightning, they're really cheap. They're really inexpensive. But they're a great little EDC knife, in my opinion. I have added a little bit of textured grip tape on this one just to give it a little bit better traction. Um, it doesn't really need it that bad, but I just had a couple pieces and thought I would put it on there. Uh, the next thing I carry, also in my front right pocket, is the Outdoor Edge Slide Winder. So this is a little utility knife with replaceable blades. Really, really, really thin, really lightweight, disappears in your pocket. Uh, I use this thing to open packages and cut cardboard and things like that. I use it all the time down here on the range. And it's just nice to have and it's a way to save the edge on whatever my main EDC knife is. It also has a little bit of multi-tool functions built in. It has a bottle opener, a flathead screwdriver, and a two-dimensional uh, Phillips head screwdriver. And I actually do find both of these screwdrivers to be a lot more useful than I ever thought they would be. Next thing I carry is I do carry a little micro multi-tool. 
So this is the Gerber dime. So this is a very small, tiny little multi-tool. It doesn't weigh much at all. Um, there's going to be a lot of jobs that this multi-tool is just simply too small to use. Um, but with that said, it will also bail you out in a pinch as well. Uh, I've carried this thing for a long time, and there's been a lot of cases where I've had this thing, and I was able to get the job done. I also really like the fact that it has uh, tweezers built into it. I find myself using those all the time. Uh, the next thing that I carry is going to shock a lot of people, and that's my hat. And I mention this for a very specific reason. Uh, my hat is a Warrior Poet hat. If you're not familiar with those guys, you definitely need to go check them out. Uh, John Lovell and Evan over there do some awesome stuff. Um, I've been wearing this hat for probably six or seven months, and this is kind of my main hat, I guess you would say. I wear a majority of the time. And the reason I mention this hat is inside the rim of the hat, all the way in right here, I carry a zip tie. And uh, I know a lot of people are laughing right now, but you would be shocked at how many times having this one, I believe it's a 12 or 14 inch zip tie, has bailed me out. Uh, I'm a dude, I work on stuff, I break stuff, I'm always tinkering with something down here on the range, or firearms, obviously. And having this one zip tie has bailed me out quite a few times. So that's just a cool little EDC hack, I guess you could call it. You can put a zip tie in the band of your hat, and you'll pretty much just forget it's there. Uh, the next thing is going to be my firearm. So obviously I carry in the appendix position, and I carry the SIG P365. This one is 100% stock. It's got the factory SIG night sights, which I do really like. Factory trigger, everything. If you want to see a uh, more in-depth video on this gun, I will link it in the description below. Um, I have a lot of rounds through the P365 platform, and I really like it. The only thing I've added to this gun is a weapon light. So I have a Streamlight TLR6 weapon light. In my opinion, weapon lights are a mandatory item on a carry gun or any firearm that you have in a defensive role. Uh, so whether it's a rifle or a carbine or a shotgun by your bed or even a pistol by your bed, a weapon light is absolutely mandatory in my opinion. You can't shoot what you can't see. Uh, you know, 80% of all self-defense engagements happen in low light or no light. And as a good guy, I don't shoot at shadows. So having a weapon light where I can confirm that the threat is indeed a threat is absolutely mandatory to me. Um, I carry with the 10 round mag with the pinky extension. The gun is obviously hot because I just took it out of my waistband. And I carry with the Federal uh, 124 grain HSTs. Carried with that load for a long time and I really like it. Next thing is going to be my holster. So I carry in the Elite Force inside the waistband holster. Uh, the clip on this holster can easily be adjusted to carry appendix the way I carry or you can also can it and you'd be able to carry it strong side. It does have a screw here to be able to adjust the retention, so I really like that. This is a really simple, really inexpensive holster. I've carried with it for a long time now. I have several buddies that use this same holster. My wife uses one just like that, and we all really like it. Uh, the next thing I carry in my left pocket is a reload wrap. If you're not familiar with that, it is a inside the pocket magazine carrier that will allow you to carry an additional magazine along with your concealed carry firearm. Uh, the reload wrap can be adjusted to fit literally any magazine, and these things are really awesome. They're not very expensive, and uh, I really like it. I've been carrying one for well over a year now, and I have absolutely no complaints. I have a coupon code that will get you 15% off if you're interested in a reload wrap, and I'll be sure to link that in the description below. In the reload wrap, I carry a 12-round mag for the SIG P365, and it is also loaded with the same 124-grain HST. Next item that I carry is I carry a knife right here on my waistband and I carry it in a horizontal position going along with my belt and this is the CRKT Minimalist and this is the drop point blade. I carry this as a last resort self-defense item. As you can see I carry it on the left side. For some reason if I can't draw my firearm for whatever situation I might be in this gives me just simply a last resort item for self-defense. I don't use this knife for anything else. I don't use it for working. I don't use it for cutting cardboard or nothing like that. This is purely used as a last resort self-defense item. Uh, as I said, I carry it in the little sheath that they do give you with the knife, and I've had absolutely no problems with it. Um, the next thing would be my belt. I carry with the Core Essentials gun belt. Um, guys, if you're looking for a good EDC belt to hold all your gear in place, you will not go wrong with Core Essentials. I've been carrying with this belt for about a year, and it is hands down the best belt that I've ever used. It has a ratcheting system. If you listen, you can hear it. So you can crank it down, and you can also easily loosen it. 
So what I like about it is I can have everything on and everything nice and secure. But if I sit down and I have myself a big meal and kind of pushing my belly out a little bit more, I can loosen this thing and no one ever notices it. Uh, if you're on a long car ride or something like that, it's really easy to loosen this belt. And then when you get out to get gas or go into a restaurant or whatever the case may be, you can tighten it right back down and everything stays in place. Well, as you probably noticed throughout the video, you could hear gunfire in the background, so I do apologize for that. Uh, sounds like my neighbor is out shooting a little bit. Kind of hard to be mad about that, and as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to go over here and join him, make a little noise myself. Uh, right not exercised is a right lost, so I'm kind of glad to hear him out shooting. Uh, everything that you've just seen is pretty much what I consider to be my locked-in EDC for now. Uh, some things like the main knife and stuff like that will kind of come in and out. Um, you know, I carry different kind of knives, different days, just depends on what I want to carry. Uh, but I always have a knife filling that role. Um, also, when it comes to the firearm, where I live at, man, it's, it's pretty much hot 10 to 11 months out of the year, and it's always really humid as well. Um, I'm a really warm-natured person, so even when other people are wearing jackets and stuff like that, I'm still wearing t-shirts. Um, so the rare occasion that it is cold enough that I can actually wear a jacket, that's the only time I will ever change the firearm. Usually I will go to something like a Glock 19, uh, but once again, that is pretty rare. So for the overwhelming majority of the time, I'm carrying the SIG P365. Uh, the clothes that I'm wearing, pretty much staying the same. I wear t-shirts, you know, almost 100% of the year. Uh, I'll wear jeans, I'm wearing shorts today. I'll wear like Carhartt work pants. But the good thing about all of that is it allows my carry setup, everything that you've just seen, to stay very, very consistent. Uh, being that my clothes and the type of things that I'm doing stays consistent, it allows my carry to stay consistent, and that's really important. Once again, hope you all enjoy the video. If you have any questions you want to ask me directly about anything or any of the items that you've just seen, Instagram is the best place to do so. So if you have stuff like that that you want to ask me, just shoot me a message on Instagram, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, I would appreciate that as well. And as always, thanks for watching. See you all next time.